What is up guys, JB here, back again with another video on the My Gadget Gear channel right here on YouTube. And today I want to show you how you can customize your Android device with a cool app called the Nova Launcher. So if you have never heard of Nova Launcher before, uh, it's totally okay. A lot of people who have Android phones really never heard of Nova Launcher. Basically what it is, is think of it as another app. But what it can do is it can actually customize the entire look and feel of your device. So the phone that I have here today is the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. And with, uh, with, with uh, Samsung devices, the, the uh, operating system that it comes with is called TouchWiz. And so that's what this device is running right now, TouchWiz. And so if you want to totally get away from touch with the stock look and feel of your device and customize it uh, more to your liking Nova Launcher allows you to do that and it you and the good thing about it is you don't have to root your phone uh, you don't have to because uh, when you root your phone essentially you void the uh, warranty on your phone so you don't have to worry about doing that and again it's just like another app so let's go ahead and go to the Play Store I'm gonna show you some of the cool features about uh, that the Nova Launcher has to offer so right here, you can see I've got it pulled up. You can see where it says Nova Launch. I have it installed. And just and just so you know, there's also a Prime version. The Prime version allows you to access uh, more features to the Nova Launcher. I would just advise that you download the regular Nova Launcher first. And if you really like it as much as I do, chances are you will uh, go ahead and download that Prime version for all of the added features. So let's go ahead and go into Nova Launcher so I can show you some of the cool things that it does. So I'm gonna go to my apps. As you can see, I have the Nova Launcher uh, right there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tap that and then boom, Nova Launcher is opened up. Now, first thing I'm gonna do, and, and guys, this is already set up. So I have everything set up to the way that I like it. I've been using it. So I'm gonna show you some of my favorite features on it real quick. But before I do that, I'm just gonna go into the settings and I'm gonna make Nova Launcher my, um, my home screen launcher permanently. So I'm gonna hit always, hit okay and boom and the reason why I do that is so if I hit the home button then it doesn't um, it's not gonna go back to touch with okay so here you go so this is the way that I like for my device to be set up for myself personally uh, with Nova launcher there's a lot of different settings and you can set yours up the way that you like it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the settings and I'm gonna show you some of the things that you can customize so as you can see in the Nova settings you can customize a lot of different things with your desktop, a lot of different things with your drawer, your dock, folders, look and feel, gestures. You can do unread counts. There's so many different things that you can do. And so I'm not going to go into every feature on this video because it would take forever to literally show you all of the different ways that you can customize your device. But what I will do is simply go through and show you some of my favorite features of what I did to customize my device. And then if you want to download it, you can download it for yourself and you can play with it on your own device and get your device set up the way you like it. So I'm going to go home real quick and I'm going to show you um, a couple of things that I did that I really, really like. So one thing that you might notice is I don't have a notification bar up top and that's thanks to Nova Launcher. So what I did is I was able to go into the gestures feature and I set a gesture to where if I double tap my screen, it'll bring up my notification menu. See that? Well, the bar rather. And then if I double tap it again, that goes away. And I think that is really cool. That's a really cool feature that I like to do with my device. And, um, and you can definitely do that too with Nova Launcher. So it's really, really cool. Another thing that I set up is my dock here. You can see that I have that red background and I've actually have, I actually have six icons there on the dock. So you can set that up too. 
Um, one other, another thing that I did is I have infinite scroll going on here. So with the standard um, TouchWiz that comes on the Samsung's phones, it won't allow you to keep scrolling through your pages. You'd have to stop on one page, at the end of your pages rather, and go back to the other one. But with this, I got infinite scroll. So I think that's really, really cool. Another thing that I set up is a swipe up gesture. So when I swipe up, it's gonna open up my Double Twist app for my music because I, I listen to music a lot and I want to be able to access it quickly so if I just swipe up then boom it opens up double twist which I think is really cool another thing that I have set up is if I swipe down it'll just automatically bring me to my notification menu which is really really cool so I really like that feature so a lot of times with the um, when I was using TouchWiz, what would happen is some every now and again, like an icon will get moved around depending if I if I mess with the phone a certain way, if it was in my pocket or whatever, and it be, it became unlocked. Some of my icons would get moved around. Well, now if I try to move an icon around, I have you have that desktop desktop lock feature, which I think is really really cool. So nothing on my desktop or any of my pages are gonna get moved around. So again, guys, this is a really, really cool app, the Nova Launcher. I would definitely recommend you checking this out. It's free for the standard version in the uh, Google Play Store. Check that out. There's so many different features to this app that you can do. So many ways that you can customize your device and make it your own. And that's one of the great things about Android phones is, is the ability to customize them and really make them your own. And the Nova Launcher app allows you to do that without even rooting your phone. And it's really, really simple. And one thing also that I just want to point out real quick to you guys is if you just, if at any time you want to go back to your regular uh, TouchWiz, the, the way that your phone was before Nova Launcher, no worries. Right here where it says select uh, default home, you just go, you can just go ahead and select that. And then you can just right here where it says uh, TouchWiz home, right here. If no, you can, if you can see that, I'll just, there you go, TouchWiz home. You can just hit that. And then I have the option for always or just once. So I'll just hit always and then boom. And then it's going to go right back to the regular stock touch with so no worries there's really not a way to uh to mess this up on your device so that's pretty much it guys that's my quick rundown of the nova launcher i hope you uh enjoyed this video let me know down in the comments below what type of launchers that you guys use and that you guys like using for your device, different ones that you might have tried out. And if you tried out the Nova Launcher and you really like it, let me know that too. And let me know some of the favorite features that you like to use within the Nova Launcher. So once again, guys, this is JB coming at you from the My Gadget Gear channel right here on YouTube. Go ahead and hit that like button for me because that really helps me out. And if you haven't done so, please subscribe to the channel so you can continue to receive cool tech videos every week. So until next video, guys, stay safe out there. Enjoy your tech and peace.